Hello everyone, Wingless Angel here again. Hi. I hope everybody had a good Christmas. I hope everybody's going to have a good New Year's. I have decided to post a short video. I want to use my stamps on these Black Coaster Molds. I have hardly used them. I do have ink for my stamps. However, I want to use them as uh, inlays. So, I like clean up my molds, set them up. And this is going to be a viewer participation video because I will post this and ask you, my viewers, there's 300 plus of you. So somebody's going to comment, I'm sure, which colors should I use? I have all my mica powders out. I do have 18 more colors that I do not have out, but I do have most of them out. I have most of them in a bag. I need to find a bag that can hold all of them. I would rather have them on the shelf, trust me. And, uh, yeah, I have all my flat coaster molds out. They, they have glitter and stuff stuck to them, so I'm not going to worry about that. But here is the bag of all my stamping inks, which I haven't even used. Beautiful, beautiful inks. I love this one. I have lots of beautiful inks. That I can use in a wrench. I don't remember what the wrench was for. Probably for the leveling table. <laughs> All right. But yes, I do. I do have lots of lots of beautiful, beautiful inks for my stamps. And I have lots of Lots of cool stamps. I have lettering. I have feathers and flowers. I have all kinds of quotations. This one is just gorgeous. It is just a floral pattern. Be brave, be happy. Butterflies. Lots and lots of butterflies. Dragonflies and flowers. Very pretty. Yeah, I have all these stamps. Lovely feathers. And I haven't even really played with them. More butterflies. And, like I said, lots of stamping supplies. Lots of little level stampers. And a couple more, uh, a couple more inks. Browns and reds and blues and purples. So, um, what I want to do is use these stamps as silicone inlays. So, I want to know what should I use for inlays. Now, I have two, maybe even three, butterflies. Uh, I have intricate and bold line. 
So, if I can remember which one's intricate and both fine. You can just give me a suggestion, like the hillows and how I use the feathers and flowers, or maybe the lettering. And I will do it in my solid flat poster mold. So, now, what colors should I use? I will not be using this camping ink for the colors. I don't think they would mix well with the rest. I will be using my mica powders and my chameleon powders. So, I just dropped all of my microfiber brushes out of the bag. So I will sit that down, get that out of the way, and get these up here. And get all my microfiber brushes. Actually, I am so sick of those things falling out from the makeup. They keep falling out of the bag. I'm going to make a cup for them. So sick of them falling out of the bag. Here are, here are most of my, I have these powders from Nail Art that I bought years and years and years and years ago when I first started working with resin. I believe I bought it in 2016 because I did not start working with resin until I moved into this apartment and I moved in at the end of 2015. So, there they are. Here are my Lidar Berry. I'm sure you've seen these. The metallics. These are wonderful. I'm getting stuff all over my hands so well. So, I have those. I have these colors, and I have all of these, plus 18 other colors. There aren't too many blues. So, I'm sure I'm missing some. But then they are. Yes, I have other colors. So, say like uh, purples with greens and golds. Um, this is not exactly blue, it's red, purple, and black, I think, or blue. So, yeah, just give me a, give me a color scheme. Crazy scheme, I don't care. Give me, give, give me an idea. And I will do this. I uh, wasn't planning on posting a video because I'm still working on my dad's end-of-year finances. But I have greens, pinks, very pink. I do have blue. I do have a pale green. I do have a, a peach, kind of a peachy gold, kind of a peachy orange, a white i think and the purple but i do have lots of colors and don't forget i also have the 18 color set so and i'm sure i'm missing some somewhere let me know what you want to see throw ideas at me i i'm i'm open for ideas so that we can participate create something fun together and let me know what you want to see and I will see you again soon. I hope everybody, whoops, I hope everybody has a happy new year. And I hope everybody 
had a Merry Christmas, and everybody have a good weekend. Uh, today is Thursday, December 28th. The year is almost over. Let's make 2024 the year I reach 400 subscribers. I hope to reach 1,000, and I hope it raises even more. Thank you for joining me. Hit subscribe, like, and share. And tap that bell for all notifications. Check out the more button. Hit up my links. Check out my spring store. Check out my artwork. And hit up my Instagram. I do have Instagram. It's wingless angel slash. Uh, yeah, wingless angel too. Um, I don't know where the slash is at. But I know it's in there. You will find me. I am on there. And... Uh, I'm on uh, Claire's Crafty Corners Discord. You can find me there, and I can get you the link from my Instagram. No, I do not show my stuff on TikTok. I used to, but I got tired of my stuff being stolen, so I quit doing it. Um, I do put a link down to my Charm Spawning on Facebook. You can check out my jewelry page. And everybody, have a fantastic weekend, and I hope everybody has a prosperous new year. Thank you for joining me. Bye-bye.